Welcome to the Add Motion Primer for Pop. First thing I'm going to do is bring in a 1920 by 1080 background. And before I do anything else, I'm going to drop Pop on and use it as a transition. Now just dropping it on, it seems like everything disappears because it actually scales down to zero. And if I push play from here, it scales up to 100% slowing down at the end. And that's because it's on Expo and it's got a duration set of a second. What I want to see is just a horizontal grow and I'm going to speed it up a little. Nice. And now let's bring in our brain. This is just a PNG with a transparent background. Drop that in. And if I drag pop on directly onto the graphic itself Again, scales down to zero, playback to 100%. But if I scale up beyond 100%, I get this cropping. And that's because the graphic lives inside a canvas that is the dimensions of the graphic itself. In this case, 990 by 622. And the reason it's filling in as much as it is, is because the spatial conform is set to fit. If it was set to none, we would actually see 990 on a 1920 frame. And again, we're confined to that canvas area. And even at 100%, you don't notice it, but if we were to drag off, you see we get that clipping. And that's the same as what would happen in Photoshop, where we would get that clipping. We aren't viewing it because we're limited to this usable area, this workspace or canvas. Now to avoid that, I'm just going to delete the brain, drop a new one on. What we first need to do is drop it into a compound clip. Now I hit Alt G, you can also right click and select it there. Now if I add pop onto our compound clip, again it scales down to zero. And now if I scale up we've got the entire project dimensions to work in. It extends our canvas to the size of the project. And that's gonna be the case with move and swing as well. So if you're getting weird cropping, just put it in a compound clip and that should solve it. All right, now let's play around with pop. That's our default setup. Kinda of want it a little faster. I think I want it scaled down a bit and I'll offset it a little. So if we play it back a couple times, you can see that it's growing right from its own center point. And that's because the zero point is set to self. We can change that to layer center. And now it grows from screen center, regardless of where it's positioned. And this is nice to have. If you have a bunch of logos or a bunch of text that kind of starburst out from the center, the other thing that we can do is set it to free. And now, we can set our puck anywhere, and that's now the position that we scale in from. So let me just inch in a couple, and as I move that zero point around, you see it follows. So say we want it bottom right, scales from bottom right. Say we want it upper center, scales from upper center, just below. And of course you can change that to be something like vertical only. Very cool. Bring it back to just above. Cool. But I want all and I think I want it to come from just offset of center. I like that. And just as it's finishing, I want some text to pop out from behind it. All right, now Let's change it to black so we can see it. And I'm going to do something like American Typewriter 95 bold, sure. Hey, Brian. And without adjusting its position in Final Cut, I'm going to go ahead and add pop straight to the title. We don't need to compound clip titles. And you can see the default scales in smoothly. Now I'm going to change that. I want it to go faster. 
and I also want the zero point to be free and let's move it over here and I want the zero point to come in from somewhere from about the same point in the brain and as you can see it's coming in from on top of let's change our layer order so it comes in from behind the graphic and already I really like that now we can change the style could do something like skid and some of these you'll need to increase the duration for them to look good at all like elastic needs a little longer duration to look good which I still think that's a little heavy I would typically use something more like double back just for a little bounce but for right now I think I just want to stick with Expo and 0.5 to get a nice slide slide I like that and now I want to see the opposite happen let's slide these a little forward come in and then disappear in the same fashion so what I'm gonna do is group place an edit and the animation starts over so I just have to click reverse group place an edit animation started over just click reverse And they're going at the same time. I think I want the title to disappear a hair sooner. And I'm going to switch them both to back so that I've got a little bump up and then it leaves. Now let's check that out. And out. Very cool. And because the scale is at zero, they're effectively gone. So we can just trim off the rest of this. But I also want the background to disappear select it, reverse it, and I think I'll have it go a hair longer, and that's pretty solid, oh, but as you can see, the duration of the clip has to be long enough to cover the duration here, and animations always start from an edit point, and because this is on Expo, it's going to start slowly and then ramp up. to speed that up I like it hopefully that gets you started with pop and gets you moving on making some cool stuff with add motion